Hey there folks, welcome to the channel and welcome to Celebrate Sausage. I hope you're having a great day. Are you ready for your daily dose of sausage? Because in today's episode, we are gonna be making the ever so requested smoked fish sausage. Matter of fact, it's gonna be more like a smoked lime garlic fish sausage and it is going to be brilliant. Let's make it happen. Let's make a fish sausage. First thing we wanna do, this is the first thing I typically do before I get started, just tighten up the edge of my blade. We're using a ceramic honing steel by Jinda Industries and it only takes a couple passes. Give the blade a wipe and you are in business, razor sharp. All right, so I'm gonna be using a uh, white fish for this. This is a sea bass. I'm also gonna be using some pork back fat. You can literally make this recipe with just about any fish that you like. So find your favorite fish and adjust the recipe. So all we're gonna do here is process our fish so that we can get it ready for the grinder. As far as the pork back fat goes, you don't have to add this to your recipe. You can make this a 100% fish sausage. I'm adding it because I think it's gonna add a lovely flavor, a nice creaminess, it's gonna make it nice and juicy. Uh, but like I said, totally optional when it comes to adding pork back fat. And for the fish, we're just gonna cut this up into pieces that'll fit into our grinder. Now, if you have a nice big number 32 grinder, then you can leave this into long strips or large chunks totally okay. This is going to go into the freezer. Let's mix it up right quick because we're going to grind it all together. And while our meat and fat is chilling, let's take a look at our spices. Nice and simple here. We're going to go salt, cure number one. We're going to do some white pepper. Don't forget to check the description box for the full recipe. I'm also going to add a little marjoram, minced garlic, and potato starch. Potato starch is going to act as a binder for this recipe. It's going to help retain more of that moisture and it's gonna give us a really nice texture after it's all said and done. We're also gonna add the zest of half a lime and that's what our flavor profile is gonna look like. Our meat is now partially frozen. This looks great. Typically when I grind fish, I like to have it very cold, somewhere around 29, 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so let's just take a quick temperature reading so that you can see what I'm talking about and uh, we'll see if we're in the zone. And it looks perfect, 28.9, 29 degrees. No problem there, let's give it a grind. Meat's now ground. Let's go ahead and check the temperature before we mix it. I want it around 32, and it looks like we're there, 32.7, perfect. If the temperature of the meat rose too much during the grinding, I will re-chill it. When I mix the meat, I do like to keep it around that 32 Fahrenheit, and that's just gonna ensure that the fat doesn't smear and all that great stuff. Let's go ahead and add our spices. We're now gonna go ahead and mix this on low for a couple minutes. I'm gonna add my cream, and what I'm looking for is a nice sticky batter, but I don't wanna over mix it. So as soon as I grab just a little handful and it sticks to the underside of my hand, at that moment, I'll know it's time to stop. So let's grab a little handful, turn our hand upside down, and we are good to go. That's exactly what that should look like at this point. This is gonna be incredible. It's not too soft, it's not too dense, and I think this is gonna make a great sausage. So just out of curiosity, in the comment section below, let me know what kind of fish you would use for your fish sausage. Salmon, snapper, trout, marlin, cod, grouper, flounder, catfish? Can't wait to hear it. Let's go ahead and put this into a casing. We're gonna be using a small diameter hog casing, 2932. These are from the sausage maker. You can literally use whatever size you want. If you wanna do something like a sheep casing, not a problem. These have been soaking overnight in a little bit of water with some baking soda. They are nice and loose. We're just gonna go ahead and fill them up with some water and get them onto that stuffing horn. The baking soda helps lubricate the casing. It doesn't really tenderize it, and that's gonna help it slide on effortless. And what we're looking for is for that casing to be able to go back and forth with absolutely no problem. If you notice that the casing is sticking, you might wanna re-lubricate it or reduce the size of your stuffing horn. All right, let's get it stuffed. All right, now it's time to link our sausage. And if you're wondering what that little tool was, that is a sausage stuffing horn cleaner 
sold by the sausage maker. I'll put a link in the description box below. And there we go. Our fish sausage has been completely linked up. If you happen to notice any air pockets, just take a pin or a sausage pricker and just prick those air pockets out. That's going to let that casing stick to the meat a little bit better. And it's going to give us a nice snappy bite once it's finished. So I'm going to prick out those little air pockets. And now we just want to let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. That's going to let the cure do its job. The seasonings and flavors are all going to come together. And tomorrow, we're going to smoke this nice and slow, and it should be pretty good. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, welcome back, guys. It's now the next day, and we're going to smoke our sausages. First thing we want to do is make sure they're dry, because coming out of the fridge, they will accumulate condensation. We're just going to leave our door ajar. If you have dampers, leave them wide open. And I'm using a digital smoker, so I can set my temperature pretty low. I've got this one set at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're going to let it hang out there for an hour and a half. That's going to help dry things out a bit. After an hour and a half, we're going to increase the temperature to 125, and we're going to start to apply applewood smoke with a cold smoke generator that we have. This unit right here is from Smoking It Smokers. It's absolutely brilliant. It's a great cold smoker, but what I like about it is that it allows me to add smoke a lot sooner than I normally would at much lower temperatures. And so right now we're at 125 Fahrenheit. We're starting to apply that beautiful applewood smoke and we're gonna smoke this for a couple of hours. It's gonna be incredible. I'll put a link in the description box below if you want information on this cold smoke generator. All right, let's close it down and let me show you the cooking schedule we're going to follow. It's kind of a standard cooking schedule for me. We start off at 100 degrees for an hour and a half to dry it out. We bump up to 125 for an hour and a half and apply smoke. We bump up to 155, 175, and then we end up at 200 until the internal temperature of our sausage reaches 145. And there it is. As soon as it's done, we'll get it in a water bath to cool it down and then we'll give it a taste. Smoked lime and garlic fish sausage. I am very pleased with the way this turned out. I mean, we've got a great slice, beautiful bind that's nice and juicy, beautiful color, and a nice tight casing. Wow, it smells incredible. I'm definitely picking up all the elements for this sausage, but not one of them is overwhelming the other. Oh, that smells great. Let's just see how we did. Mmm. Wow, this is delicious. Very, very juicy and incredibly flavorful. I mean, all of the elements are very present, but they're accenting the star of this sausage, which is the fish. I'm also loving the texture because we've been able to retain that sort of tender, delicate quality that fish has in this sausage by not over-processing it and adding too much binder, which I think is absolutely critical. One thing that I think will make or break this sausage is the quality of the fish. If you could get your hands on the freshest fish possible, you know, maybe stay away from frozen fish, I think your sausage is going to come out a lot better, a lot fresher tasting, because I am definitely getting the freshness, the sweetness from this sea bass, and it's absolutely delicious. Mmm. All right there, folks, I'd love to hear your thoughts and your questions on this smoked fish sausage in the comment section below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a great big thumbs up. That's always helpful. If you're new to this channel and you like sausages, take a moment and click that notification bell. We've got a brand new sausage making recipe every day through the end of the month for our month long series, Celebrate Sausage. I don't want you to miss a single episode. Thanks for being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.